Hi parents. So this um, video is a how to use Google Classroom. And so this should be pretty helpful for some of us who might be feeling a little bit lost right now, um, now that you are kind of in charge of um, getting that Chromebook open and making sure your kids are checking in and getting their work done. So first things first, if you have an elementary school student, when they log on to their Chromebook, the first thing they're going to find is this um, this page that I'm on right now. This page is called the Clever Portal. And this is how they log into all their Google accounts. So if your child is not a um, elementary student and this doesn't pop up right away, all you have to do is go to clever.com and log in as a student. So you'll click in the upper right button over here. There'll be a link that says log in as a student. That's what you want. So uh, number one, if your kid is in elementary school and they're probably a kindergartner or maybe even first or second grader, they're probably going to want to use their badge to log in. So you would just click this clever badge login and then they'll hold up that little QR code that was printed off that your teachers gave you when they when you got the Chromebook and that will log them in directly right through there. If they don't have that, the other option is to go ahead and click right here, log in with Google. When you log in with Google, you'll use your 1-1 one, one number, so 1-1 one, one and whatever the rest of the number is, at royalsd.org. That's your student ID number. And then they should know their password as well. They'll add their password in, and then they'll click login. And that'll be the last time they have to log in um, while they're using the system. Once you're logged in, your page will probably look similar to this. Right here at the top, it'll tell you what school you're in. I'm in the middle school. I'm a middle school teacher, so that's where mine says Royal Middle School. Your elementary school student will say Red Rock, and then it might be intermediate school or even high school. So here's the deal. With Clever, once you're logged in, it has all the apps preloaded so students don't have to keep re-logging in. And so it's all right here. The only thing is, is that everybody's Clever page is going to look a little different. I'm a teacher, so I have a lot more stuff on mine. Your student's Clever page will look much simpler than this. And basically on Clever, you'll see there's these tiles. Um, these tiles are just like on your phone, an app. And so if you click on them, you'll automatically be loaded into that app. So the one you're gonna be looking for when you're doing Google Classroom is this app right here where it says Classroom. And yours might not be at the very top because all of them are dependent upon how you set up your page. So if you don't see it right here at the top, don't worry. You just have to go over to your scroll down bar and search around for it. When you find it, so here's classroom, if you want it to show up at the top, you can just click this little heart right at the top, make it nice and big and red, and it will automatically pull it back up to the top. So here's mine right here, Google. I just pulled it right back up to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Google Classroom. Okay, so once you're in Google Classroom, it should look something similar to this. I, you'll find a lot more on my page because I teach several classes and I even have some of my own teacher classrooms that I'm involved in. Um, so likely if you have an elementary school student, you might just find one for their homeroom teacher and maybe one for their reading teacher. Or maybe um, at the intermediate school, you might also find one for their math teacher. Um, in the upper grades, they're going to have more depending upon how many teachers they have. So each one of these represents a different classroom. If you see mine is seventh period, sixth period, these are my different class periods. But for your child, it'll probably be their reading class or their math class. So you would click on this link right here to get into the classroom. But I want to show you something really fast. If you look, if your teacher enters an assignment in with a due date, you'll find the due date right here on this very first page. You can see mine right here, Due Friday Forensic Science. My students have an assignment due on Friday, and boom, it tells them right away. There's no excuse for them not to know the due date. It's the first thing they see. So once I open up my classroom, I'm going to see a whole lot more information. Okay, number one you um, might find um, all these different posted assignments in here. This is called your stream. Right here, you'll see this button. This is the stream that you're in right now. If I scroll down, I'm gonna find some different assignments that I've posted in my stream. So number one, 
is solve the mystery. So if I click on it, what I'm gonna find is I posted a video to share with my students and it was to help them um, answer a murder mystery. <laughs> we were doing some forensic fun stuff. But if I go back, I can click this seventh grade science button to go back to that stream page. Um, and down below you'll see, oh look, I had posted a new assignment on Monday the 27th called Forensic Science. So I can click on that to learn more. Okay, because I'm a teacher, it's gonna pull up my student work. You don't wanna see that. <laughs> but what you'll be directed to instead is this page. This is what you, would, you wouldn't have to worry about clicking back and forth because well, you're not a teacher. So you're gonna see that there's a description of the assignment. If the teachers added any kind of links or any kind of documents that students need to edit, they'll be right there. So you would wanna read the student directions right here. For me, I posted a video, but I also posted a Google Doc that the kids would then open up and they're gonna start typing directly in that. And when they're done, there will be a submit button at the right hand corner. Because I'm not a student, um, I can't look at that right now but it will say submit or turn in and they can click on that when they're totally done. And then I'll get a copy of it, of all of their work, all directly in my Google Classroom. All right, if you also scroll down, you'll see I've posted some of my Google Meet information here as well. Um, there might be a lot of information in this stream. If you see when I scroll down, look at there's lots of information here and that can sometimes lead to overload. So an option is to click on this classwork button. Now, not all the teachers are gonna be updating this, but it's a good place to check. So if you click on classwork, what you're gonna be directed to is just the assignments. So you're gonna be directed to just the assignments, which um, you'll be able to very clearly see, like what sometimes in the stream, students will make a comment and those comments can get kind of busy in the stream. And so if you're like, I just wanna see the work, you can go here to see what is the work that the kids have to do. And so it, you, like mine are, are labeled by week. Um, each teacher might do that differently, um, but that's how mine are labeled out. So you can easily figure out what is it I have to do right now? Also, if we go back to that home page, the stream page, you'll also see in this left hand corner. If you weren't sure about what work was due, you'll see upcoming due Friday forensic science. I can even click view all. And for right now, my students only have one assignment due for me that um, has already laid. But um, so you can see they haven't turned that in yet for me because it's not due yet. Um, and generally that's where you're gonna find all your information for your classroom is right here in Google Classroom. So you can ask your students, hey, I want you to show me what missing work or what assignments do you have due right now? And you can click right here to see their, their work that's gonna be due this week. And if they've already completed it, well, they can show it to you. Say, open up that assignment. I wanna see what it looks like. And they can even unsubmit work um, if the teacher hasn't graded it yet, so they can actually show you everything they've done and then they can resubmit it. Um, many of the students already know how to use these features. Um, we just wanna make sure that you as parents know how to use these features as well. All right, hopefully that was helpful for some of you out there.